Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. A friend asked if I could illustrate a family crest. He wants it for a sign for the end of his driveway. I started by sketching this out in my sketchbook and then scanning it into the computer. I pulled it into Photoshop as a background layer so I could draw over it using the symmetry tool. There's different styles of scroll work, or filigree as it's sometimes called. The work I was doing here wasn't really correct for a crest, and after checking some online references, I decided to go a different direction. So I drew it out again, this time I've gone with more of a tapestry vibe. I again scanned it into the computer and flipped the right half of the image onto a new layer where I can use an alpha channel to reveal the parts I want to mirror. I import that image into Illustrator as a background layer and start creating the line work over top. This thing doesn't need to be vector art for the sign, it's going to be printed in full color on vinyl, but I thought it would be handy to have the black and white line work as vector in case I want to use it for different things. When I'm done, I import the line work into Photoshop as a really large file, around 4 feet by 5 feet. I use the magic wand tool to create selections that will be filled with color. Each color is on a separate layer to make it easy to modify later on. Once I've got the flat colors down, I can lock the opacity of that layer and paint in the shading. My friend didn't like the style of the capital C on the shield, so I changed that at the end. I decided to add a color outline to the whole thing to make it stand off the black background a little better. And that's it. As for the black line work, I've recently bought a laser and I'm working on some designs for it. I thought I could offer this crest engraved onto coasters or tumblers with the customer's name and address put into the banners. I'm still hooking the laser up, but I think the engraving is supposed to be faster with vector art, but I'll have to test it all out. This is the laser. Like I said, I'm not done hooking it up. It's an 80 watt CO2. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to hit all the buttons on your way out, and thanks for watching.